Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and it's time to continue with my halfway Let's Play. This is episode 5, and we are about to embark on another mission. We just activated elevators in the last episode, and yeah, stuff happened. Things are good or bad, depending on how you look at it. And we're still alive! And it looks like we have accomplished everything that we had to up until this point. So we will go out with Linda C. Morton L. and Samuel L. Jackson. No, it's not Jackson, but it's fine. All right. Onward we go. We've moved around some equipment, some items, and we are set. All right. Here we are. If Amber was right, there should be another survivor on this floor. It's awfully quiet here. A little too quiet for my taste. I doubt we'll find anyone else. Oh, sorry. Alive or still sane here. Dang it, I didn't shut off my friends list. Hmm, awkward. You're probably right, but we need to at least try, unless you have something better to do. Well, not getting eaten or killed generally is one of my more better things to do. Wow, we have a lot of choices. Alright, I guess we go this way. And... Huh, we have even more choices. As if our original choices weren't already overwhelming and quite large. Now we have more. Hmm. Well, let's go this way. I think this might be a good idea. Maybe not. Aha, there's an open container. Let's go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Obey me. <laughs> Alright, cool. So some sweet new upgraded equipment. I like that. That gives him... Gives him his assault rifle back. Pretty good magazine size, too. Uh, the plasma rifle is the very latest development of weapon technology. It hurls very painful and lethal energy shots toward the target. However, due to the Im immaturity okay, of the technology, it tends to overheat easily. Hmm, that could be a problem. And then the flak gun, Mincer, which seems to just be a shotgun of death. Hey, you know what? I'm I'm okay rocking the shotgun. I you know, I'm gonna go with the medium. I, I don't know. Don't ask me complicated questions, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to give this one to Linda. I'm gonna take a look at Linda, and this does more damage in. It's five tiles out where it's somewhat accurate. This one's four, but it does more damage, sort of. It's two to thirteen versus six to eleven, so more of the high end. We'll equip it. Why not? We'll roll out with it. It's not bad. It's not terrible. And apparently there's a door over there, but we can't seem to get to it. Huh. Alright, well I guess we go back in. It's not working. There we go. Alright, and we're over here by the medical bay. That's interesting. I don't really know what the point of that was, but okay. The door not available to us? It doesn't seem like it. And, aha, there's some more open containers up here. Let's get our buddy over here. And take a look. Standard ammo. Excellent. A health stim pack. Alright, let's take a look in his inventory. And he's got 18, 20, and 14. So I think we're going to move the health stim pack down to her. Because if she can... Linda can tank some stuff up. She's actually going to be uh, pretty good because she's got a self-heal all the way up to the top. So she can fully heal herself in one shot, which I think is pretty sweet. I mean, maybe you guys disagree with me, but you'd be fools to disagree with me. I am bumpy and always right. It's not true. My wife thinks I, that's how I actually feel, but it's categorically untrue. I actually do not feel that way at all. So just in case you were wondering... All right, let's see what's this way. Ooh, glowing red bad guys. Those are far more menacing than the non-glowing red bad guys. All right, well, I think I'm going to run over here and... I think... I want to kill that guy. I think that's the guy that I am going to focus my... Oh, I hit retaliate buttons. Well, poop. I guess I'm not going to kill that guy. <clears throat> Alright, that's fine. We're going to move her up here. And she's got a 39% chance to hit. Eh, sure, we'll take a shot. Maybe we hit, maybe we don't. Don't know for sure. 
It's inconsequential. Unfortunately, he's really he's got line of sight, huh? Okay. Apparently, he can peek around a corner. Boom! What? Doing work, Samuel L. What's up, buddy? All right. Looks like there's three, four guys left. All right. Ooh, and we retaliated on him, and we hit him with it too. Nice. Can we retaliate a second time? Nope. Unfortunately, that is not in the cards. We got to make sure we keep Sammy out back. Oh, hey, there's a blue shirt, guys. The orange shirts are now old hat. Oh, there's a lot of people up there. This could be a little bit more messy than I was anticipating. Eh, well, we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. All right, it looks like. Let's go back to him. Let's do a headshot, and is he our only target? It looks like he is. All right. Well, I don't hate it. Oh, I hate it now. We missed. Poop. All right, 57% chance. 77. Nice. All right, that worked out. We move over here. We're going to take a shot. Looks like it said 83, but then it dropped. That's okay. We still took him out. It's fine. We're going to end it. We're dropping these guys pretty quickly now. I am definitely enjoying the improved combat armor and everything else that we have. Oh, Blue Boy decided to... Ooh, that was a pretty nasty hit. Blue Boy's like, I'm right here. What you going to do about it? Don't worry. Don't worry about what we're going to do about it. You'll see soon enough. Ouch. All right, what are you going to do? Can you shoot anyone? 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 Nope, you cannot. All right, let's move up here. See if you can take a shot at this guy. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh, he's got a shield. That's interesting. Not anymore. It was interesting, briefly. Uh, I don't know how much damage I'm going to do with this, but we'll smack him with it anyway. Twice. Alright, we're set. Let's do the next one. Bring it on. Come on. Heh. I scoff at you. With your little... Mm. See, doesn't that sound like like a mosquito flew by your ear? Mm. Mm. Maybe a bee. Oh. I'm supposed to be a little more concerned with a bee flying by my head. I'm starting to develop a small headache. That's unfortunate and unpleasant. I will tolerate it, though. I shall be okay. Goodbye. Alright, I'm going to move up. And apparently have nobody to shoot at. Oh, gosh. Hi. Okay, I guess I'll move over here. I have zero chance of hitting that. Aha! Hugs! Hugs! Alright, well, let's say we're going to be hugged up top. Probably. They might just still shoot at my other guy. Now, that is a very real possibility. Come on. It's fine. Nope, they're not going to punch you. Oh, there we go. Shot in the boom. Shot in the boom. Oh, they they positioned themselves really well there to stay out of visibility range for my sniper. So, kudos to them. Okay, and... Mm, let's make sure we don't miss. Goodbye. It's dead a shot. All right. Let's move here, and mm, boom. Sweet, and it looks like she is out of bulatos. Also, gelato. She is totally out of gelato. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to reload her gelato. And 18%, why not? 13, no, dropped even lower. Eh, I figured we might as well give it a shot, right? And it looks like he's still not visible. I am amazed at the amount of maneuverability that these folks have. Goodbye. I knew that was going to hit. I psychically knew that when I moved there, I had that shot lined up perfectly. Alright, we're going to move here. And we're going to end our turn, and we're going to see what the alien mutated weird scum guy does. Eh. Alright, I'm going to move here, and I'm going to shoot him in the toenail. He'll be like, ow, you shot me in the toenail, who does that? I do that, that's who. And boom goes the dynamite. Hey, there's a monitor that we're all looking at. 
Over there, the old intercom is blinking. It seems like someone wants to talk to us. Why is everyone suddenly using these old things? Amber contacted me on one of them, too. That is a very good question. One that we should find an answer to eventually. Probably not just now. Let's get some more ammo. Let's reload all of our guns. There we go. And talk. Talk. Answer the intercom. Hello, who is there? Oh, dude, it's so good to hear another human voice. I need a little, um, help. I'm kind of stuck in the fridge. Hang on. What's your ID? And why exactly are you in the fridge? Josh Connor, Senior IT Specialist, ID 51, or 521. Sir, why am I here? It's kind of a long story. Maybe we could just talk about it later. Okay, Josh, we'll try to get through to you. Is there any way for you to get out? Any vents or anything? No, sir. The only door is locked from the outside, and I wasn't thinking straight in the moment. As I said, I can't do anything from in here. How does he have a... a, a intercom, then? Hold tight, we're on our way. One last thing, you'll need to go the long way around. The main entrance to the dining room is barricaded. I guess we should find some more ammo before going any further. By the sounds of it, we could be facing some serious opposition. Good thinking. Josh, we'll be back in a minute. We need to get some supplies first. Now, I'm not going anywhere, but please hurry. Do I want to leave this area? No. There's so many things I haven't done yet. Are you kidding me? Why well, I want to leave this area? What are you thinking? But the good news is, there's a possibility that I won't end up getting completely annihilated if I, can, if I continue in my current course, my current path. Alright, well, what in the heck was that? Seriously, dude. Okay, apparently we have to move because I can't click on that and do things. What is going on? Hello? I think the game is bugged out right here, guys. So please keep in mind that there may be some small problems. There we go. I guess I had to go off to the right real far. Alright, let's see if we can move some stuff around. Let's send this to Samuel. And I guess we'll send this to Samuel as well. Now we'll once again try. There we go. We're heroes! Alright, is there anything else in here that we needed to get? Nope, there's a door down there, there's a door over here, there's a door over here. Guess we'll go see what's behind this door. And open! Whole lot of nothing. Alright, that's okay. I don't mind a whole lot of nothing. It's generally better than a whole lot of something bad. Okay, we're almost done. We'll come down this way now. And we'll see what's behind this door. And again, a whole lot of nothing, ladies and gentlemen. So, I guess that's it. I don't think I missed anything. Just gonna make sure. Kinda linger around, check with my alt key, and... Oh, that seems to be it. Alright. Well, we're gonna head up here. We're gonna finish ourselves a level and be on our way to the next. I don't know if you guys are enjoying it as much as I am, but I'm really enjoying this LP. This game is actually a whole lot of fun. It's a little a little challenging here and there, but uh, overall I think it's quite, quite well done. Alright, we shouldn't wait around too long. I don't even need to talk to these fools right now. Nice. Alright, let's offload some equipment, and then we'll be on our way. We're starting to get our capacity up a little bit more than, well, maybe we're used to. Alright, plasma grenade, I'm going to put that away. Uh, I'm probably going to put that away... Put that away. That, 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 that. And I think we're doing pretty good. Alright, let's go do the next mission. Well, we'll check one last time. I always like to check with the medical thing, just in case something's happening and I'm not aware of it. Scanning, please wait. No signs of injury or sickness. Alright, onward to the mission briefing, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, it's time to go. Alright, so... Find another way into the canteen and free Josh out of the fridge. Alright, let's go with our three peeps. And I think we can have up to eight people on our squad by the end of it. I'm not 100% certain of that, but I think that's what I remember reading. Oh, hello, guy. What is that thing? 
Oh, I'm gonna shoot at it though. Thought I was gonna shoot at it. Why can I not shoot at it? Oh, oh, oh well. We'll just shoot at this guy. I'm okay with that. Still not sure what that thing is, but we'll shoot this guy. And down he goes. Alright, with finality, we still know what that is. Alright, we'll under turn and see. Oh, there it is. Meh. Well, we could probably just beat this thing to death. Why don't we just do that? Just beat it to death. No use wasting ammo on it, right? So it'll probably take a little bit of damage here and there. Hopefully it doesn't get through our shields, and if that's the case, if it gets through hers, we're still fine. So we'll just beat on it with our melee. Because we can. Oh, there it goes. We got through her shield, no big deal, and bam, down it goes. Sweet, sweet night. Oh gosh. There's a hyper jump again with my eyes going blind. I can't see. Not again. Watch out. How did they... How did they get in here? Oh, that's interesting. Take cover! That's not really an option. Oh, crap. Okay, well, I just learned a valuable lesson. Ow! You know what, buddy? You gonna play that kind of game? It's fine. I'll play it right back. If I can hit you, you're dead. Alright, let's get her to blockade any possible scenario where he gets shot. Didn't work. Okay, we're gonna punch anyway. That's right, double punch action. What? Hmm. Yeah. How did they get in here? Did anyone see what happened? They just appeared after the jump. You mean out of nowhere? Completely out of thin air. Hey, Atlantis, do you know what that means? Yes, but there's not much we can do about it right now. Keep on your toes. They could ambush us at any moment. Well, that really sucks for him. Like, a lot. That totally changes the whole dynamic of everything. Alright, he's definitely going to have to use a... Oop, use a med kit, because that wrecked his face. That was unpleasant. Ooh. A large shield shell. Or a cell, rather. A large shield shell. Shush, 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 shush. Alright, through the door we go. Through the next door we will go as well, eventually, if we get our mouse to come back to us. Alright, there's some nasty looking stuff in here ready to murder our face. I'm excited, I'm eager, I am ready. We can't quite shoot that yet because, well, it's not officially there, so that makes it kind of impossible. So instead we're going to go this way and see what else we can find. I'm going to use her as a face tank and get her up into face tanking position. And he's going to sit back relatively far, I dare say, and do a lot of nothing. Maybe reload his gun. Alright, let's end our turn, see what's next. What is the enemy going to throw at us now? Alright, there's an alien, there's a turret, and another alien. Alright, so, ooh, there's a blue shirt right there. Sounds like there's a lot of movement, so we're going to have a lot of issues. Hopefully this uh, dude we're going to go save... Ooh, she's already starting her face tanking abilities. Okay, we will accept that and move on. Let's uh, see if we can kill this one shot. And beautifully done. We headshot an inanimate object that doesn't have a head, ladies and gentlemen. We are amazing. Alright, one down and... So we did just manage to hit that. Let's do it again. And two down. Well, technically, yeah, I guess technically it is two down. Alright, we're going to move up here, and oh gosh, there's so many people right here. She's going to face tank a lot. Hopefully she survives it. We'll see. Yeah, it's going to set up nice for our sniper, that's for sure, but everything else, not great. Well, it looks like there's more people back in that area, too. And over there. Huh. Well, this could be a little bit messy. Definitely wouldn't see me using these tactics in XCOM or in, uh, well, maybe XCOM. Definitely not in, uh, Xenonauts. This would be guaranteed death land right now. Alright, let's see if we can annihilate him. And indeed we can. Alright. 
I'm going to move myself up over here. Mm. See the turret now, that's unfortunate. Just going to punch this guy to death. There we go. Eh, she's somewhat hurt. Not overwhelmingly so. Eh, we'll take a shot at him. He might hit. Probably not. It's fine. Alright, and her weapon is out of ammo, so it's something to keep in mind for the next. And she's like, oh my gosh, please don't hit me, ugly giant blue mutant dude of death. I love you. Please, please don't hurt me. Blue mutant dude's like, I don't care. You're a woman. What am I going to do with a woman? I'm an alien. Do you know what we do to women as aliens? Same thing we do to men. We probe them. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Not that that's a good thing. Or necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it just simply is. Alright, we annihilated that guy. That was pretty awesome. I'm just gonna punch this thing to death. And he's doing baby punches again. What is wrong with him? Alright, I'm gonna move her here for now. And we will end the turn. Can she reload? She cannot. It's okay. Alright, we're gonna reload and we're gonna shoot this guy and down he goes. Alright. I'm just randomly guessing. I could be completely wrong, but actually the last two times I prematurely called something dying, they died. What? It's like I'm psychic all of a sudden. Alright, we're gonna move over here. And we're gonna end our turn and see what comes next. Oh, shot my shield a little bit. Not too great, not too bad. We'll move up. I'm going to do some punchy, punchy, punch, punch stuff again as well. Yeah, double punch. And she's going to move down. Oh, I don't know why I moved her. I could have just shot twice. Eh. I'm going to punch, punch him to death in the next turn if he stays. Oh, careful, careful. Don't, don't go shooting Samuel L over there. He's delicate. Boom! I'm gonna butt it again. Alright, and goodbye. You're down. Alright, so that is sweet, sweet, nice, and we are good to go at this point. There's doors and containers and all sorts of stuff, so let's check the door. There's a container in here. There's a lot of containers. Alright, let's reload everybody's gun. Not enough ammo. Alright. Let's go here and. Oh. Send that to Linda. Reload her gun. Send her up there. Send him down there. Alright, we're going to open the container. There's a small shield cell. Okay, we're going to go in here. There's a door and other random stuff. Exciting. Good, some ammunition. We need that desperately. Agility stim pack. Let's get us some more movement. Oh, another devastator. Alright. And a tank suit too. Did I get one of those already? I think I did. Yes, I did. Alright, so it's exactly the same. The devastator is a little bit better, but the range is worse. That's interesting. It's not that much better or that much worse. Eh, it is what it is. Um... I guess we'll go here, get some more standard ammo, and what do we got, what do we got, nothing, nothing over here, alright, she can move up there, I guess get that, unless it's gonna cause us some sort of issue, nope, that seems fine, med kit, alright, and, I don't know, maybe move him down this way, because Captain Exoskeleton himself seems to be in an interesting position, Okay, nothing going on there. Go over here, we'll open this. And it does look unpleasant and rather desolate, I will say. Things do not look super friendly for our fellows here. I am not using that bathroom. That bathroom is off limits for a reason. Alright, our folks are all going to group up here, and we're going to continue on. And once we do, we shall be... Well, I assumed we were all going to continue on. Apparently, one of our boys got stuck or lost along the way. Come on, Sam. What you doing, fool? All right. And we've finished the level. We've explored everything, and I guess we're done. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to break off this episode. 
Thank you for joining me once again. I will see you guys tomorrow with more Halfway. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. Bye.